and lightweight championship. In this beautiful arena. This is BB King 2012. And now, this is the last but not the least quarterfinal. Fighting in the blue corner, coming from Greece. Evgenios Lazaridis. So five one and oh, he fought in the last two biggest better in September and October, both in Bulgaria. One in October beat Bok uh, Sokolowski and Dimitar Tashkov. Uh, three knockouts, one points lost in his appearances uh, so far. Uh, again, he was a standout winner, really, in the one that he, he won. I don't think there were too many people that thought he was going to be able to come in. He was 26 years of age. He just lost out to Olympic qualification for 2012. Now, Experienced amateur. The red corner coming from Latvia. So Maris Bridis of Latvia, 14, 1 and 0. Oh. Lost one back in December 2011 in Bigas Better against Ivicka Bakuri on a decision. 1-3 in Limassol in Cyprus when we were there back in January. And he's got uh, 10 KOs in the 14 that he's fought, so he's got a bit of a punch on him. You cast your mind back, he was... Lanzarid is very, uh, very thoughtful uh, boxer. There was nothing flash about him. He did everything just so. Yeah, Lanzarid has used his height and reach very well. But he's got his work cut out tonight here against Breedis because he's in against a very skillful boxer also. As I said before, these, these two are my pick of maybe getting to the final if they're on the opposite side of the draw. But um, as it happens, look up the draw. They're up against each other in the first round. So one of the tournament favorites here is going out. This should be a, a very good close match. 27 years of age, 1 meters 86, 93 kilograms. He's the winner of BB13 in Cyprus. Mary is free And for this super quarterfinal, Mr. Steve Smogger is back. So Uncle Steve, the referee then for this final quarter final. Three minutes, three round. Radis in the white trunks. Lazaridis is the taller of the two. He's got the reach advantage. And as we said, he's a very competent amateur, just failed to make it to the Olympic Games in London this year. And this is what he did. He literally jabbed his way to victory in that biggest better. I'll tell you what, he's come out here quicker than he did in uh, a couple of months back. Yeah, he uses his height and reach very well. Works well beyond his jab, does Lazaridis. But Bradis himself, very, very skillful. He'll work the body and switch the attacks. Got a lot of skill and ability as Bradis. I've seen him many times. And it'll be very interesting who's going to get that first round under his belt. Can Lazaridis keep him at the end of this jab? One thing that he's favouring Bradis also, um, Tim, is it's, I think it's his seventh contest this year. Yeah, that's right. So, so he's busy. Close to the right hand was a nice right hand and then he works the left hook to the body but Lazaridis ties him up on the rope. This is 
is where he wants Lazaridis. And this is out of his comfort zone. Yeah, and you can see straight away better, better quality from both boxers here. This is more like it. Oh, oh good stuff. Combination. And we often talk about threes and fours. He put in a four and a five there, did Lazaridis. Yeah, and what was impressive there as well. Again, adjustment of the feet and bringing his opponent onto the shots with those accurate punches. And again there, Breedis just getting through with his own. So, yeah, it's it's a close one. But at this stage, I think Lazaridis is just having the better of these exchanges. Although Breedis is, keeps coming forward. Keeps coming forward, landing a fair percentage of his own. He's in his own backyard. Lazaridis has got to do plenty here to keep them off. Of awarding this, that was a nice little right hook into the body of uh, Lazaridis. He's again he, he switches his attacks from body to head. Lazaridis finding it difficult to anticipate at times. Oh, a little, little sharp right hand there from Bredis again. Lazaridis got to start bringing the right uppercut through, most certainly. Big overhand right and the left hook into the body and another overhand right. Great hand speed and he's switching these attacks from body to head with rapid succession. And he's clearly in the zone here tonight, isn't he, Bredis? Yeah, most certainly. And Lazaridis struggling here to keep his man at bay. But he's done enough to take that in the end, hasn't he, yeah. Bredis? Yeah, that was Bredis' round. Last 30 or 40 seconds especially probably got it for him. Up until then, Lazaridis was having some success, bringing his opponent onto the shots. But here, this fella, that's 30 or 40 seconds. That would have caught the judges' eyes. It was a close round, but for me, that first there, we've got to be coming forward, starting up to the body. This was better work from Lazaridis at the start of the round, keeping his man off, off balance. But Breedis keeps coming forward, pushing his man back to the ropes. Good that stuff here. That now, what's that was? This was lovely here. Oh, we just didn't see it, but Lazaridis bringing him onto shots. Both taking punches there. But towards the end of the round now, Breedis starts coming forward. Lovely switch of attack there. Body to head, and again. See, I think we mentioned this the last time out. Lazaridis, if you were talking about a 10 round fight or a 12 round fight, you'd probably maybe. Uh, favor, but over three rounds, you've got to be thinking Bradius is the favorite. Mm. So back on the prowl, pushing Lazaridis into the corner, right hand immediately connects with his chin. There he goes, switching from body to head. You see, it's good tactics from Bradius because what he's doing, he's not allowing Lazaridis to, to control things with, behind that jab. You know, he's, he's getting the feet into range. It's, it's a high tempo from Breedis. But he's which, not throwing enough jabs, is no, he? No, well, Lazaridis just can't cope with the, with the tempo and the, and, the, and the switch of attacks from body to head. This is better now. That's much better from Lazaridis. It just shows that he can do it. An attack suddenly worked the dragon, and he spun around and chased his man across the ring. Radius under a bit of pressure. Both of these two have shown an ability to take a decent shot as well in this fight so far. Lazaridis got to keep that left hand a little bit higher, Tim. He's just inviting this right hand over the top. And it, it, it's a good tactic from Breedis because what he's doing, he's starting with the attack to the body, but he's actually looking to land the right hand over the top. So that just takes the attention away from that left up to the body, and then he switches it with the right hand over the top. There it is there, look, not too far away. Well, it's certainly the best fight of the night between these two. There's no doubt about that. Can Lazaridis turn this into his favour? Again, there's that yeah, overhand is. right. And he's going to drop if he doesn't be careful on time. So that he's oh, going to turn and take a cap. And Lazaridis didn't know where to go then. Yeah. I don't think... I think he was just there to get out the way of the onslaught rather than the fact that he was hurt from the punches. Yeah, that was a good shot there over the top. The attack again started with the body. So his attention is taken away, then he switches. Look at that right hand over the top. Lazaridis also is moving the wrong way. On no, the ropes now, bad position. Because there's nothing coming back from Lazaridis. He's going to have to oh. go down again. I think that's enough now. Lazaridis yeah, has it. had enough. And a real whirlwind of a performance there from Bradis. Well, 
He's almost like a gentle giant, isn't he, Lazaridis? Super finish that was. Lazaridis kept moving the wrong way, moving to his left, moving onto that right hand, and then made the fatal mistake of just going back onto the ropes. The feet come square, and that allowed Bradis then just to work downstairs, that left up to the body. So not only did Lazaridis have the problem of the left up to the body, but also the right hand over the top. Did the bell go? He's done, he's finished, he called it off, definitely. Well, they can do without this, really. First, the first fight we had the, the clock didn't count down properly, and now they can't make their mind There's, up well, yet. Well, the referee's in charge he's here. Steve Smuggler said, that's it, it's all over. Yeah, yeah look, decision. he's made the decision. decision. Because that was only going to cause more damage. So, Gradius, a real bundle of energy, isn't he? He's just literally flew into that ring of those two rounds and just blitzed Lazaridis. You've got to say, he looks, he looks the clear favourite now. Well, the work rate from him was superb, wasn't it? And the switch of attack from body to head. This fella not only had the problem of the left hook to the body, but also the right hand over the top. He couldn't establish the jab, kept moving the wrong way, caught on the ropes there. Catching the right hand. Look, he's moving to the left all the time. This wasn't too bad at the start of the round, pushing his opponent back. This was okay, but he kept moving to the left and, and with a low left hand, and he's just inviting. There it is, there. Look, he's inviting the right hand over the top, and then Breedis then. He knows the finish is near. Doesn't let him off the hook. Switches downstairs, left up to the body. That hurt him. That was a good shot. Inexperience, really, there because really.